Hey everyone on YouTube, this is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. In San Antonio, we're right in the middle of a very hot summer. We've been hitting record temperatures and it got us to thinking of doing a public service announcement for you guys because there's something that we see happen a lot and that is to people uh, to see people underestimate the temperatures that can be reached in their vehicles and leaving their prized valuable instruments uh, in the trunk or, or the back of a truck or whatnot um, and basically leaving it to the mercy of the temperatures that uh, take place in there. So we wanted to do a video to kind of show you what could happen as a bit of an experiment. Uh, today it's going to be hitting uh, triple digits uh, like I said, it's been record hot, so we are going to show you what could happen. We've been talking the, about the importance of temperature and humidity a lot. Let's show you what we're talking about. So today we've got a sacrificial lamb we're going to lead to slaughter, so to speak. Uh, and this is an FA100. We're going to unbox it for you on camera so you can see that we haven't done anything to this guitar. It's fresh out of the box. We're going to tune it up, put it in the trunk of a uh, vehicle, and leave it for about seven hours and then see what happens over that period of time. So, through the power of editing, let's speed this up and see what takes place. Check it out. Okay, as you can hear, it's tuned up, it's ready to go. We're gonna put it in its gig bag, go put it in the trunk along with a uh, thermometer, and we'll see what we see. Now this is an inexpensive all laminate guitar, so if it's a higher end guitar made of all solid wood with hide glue, probably fare a little bit differently. This should be pretty resilient, so it'll be important to see what happens under the extreme temperatures we're about to subject it to. the beauty of video production. Should I jaywalk on camera? Just sprint across the street. Okay, so the recipe for roast guitar is one hot trunk, July. Let's sit for about seven hours. We're gonna put this digital thermometer in there that'll record maximum temperature. We'll check on it later and we'll see what happens. So it's just after six. It's about 100 degrees. It's very sunny. We're going to see how the guitar fared after being in the trunk all day. Let's see. <laughs> well, it actually won't even show me how hot it got in there. It got that hot, so I hope we didn't just destroy the thermometer. Let's take it inside and we'll, we'll see how the guitar is. It's pretty warm. All right, we're back. Uh, I finally did get the digital thermometer to read, and it showed that the uh, temperature of the trunk reached a balmy 120.9 degrees. Um, I was thinking the bag might have helped a little bit, but... Uh, the guitar is pretty hot, so we're going to see. It might be okay. It is an all laminate instrument. God, the end pin's hot. Well, the whole guitar is very warm and now smells very much like glue, which is probably not a good sign. Okay, we'll see if we can get a shot of this. One of the back braces is now loose. Let's see if it's in tune. It's actually still in tune. <laughs> and, there's, and there's heat resonating from the body. And, it, and the strings sound really dead. So, all in all, the guitar fared pretty well, um, which we were kind of thinking it might because it's all laminate construction. But here's the thing that you want to keep in mind. 
Um, had we done this with a more expensive instrument, which is probably what a lot of you own, it would, there's already a loose back brace. Uh, it kind of looks like the top is swollen, maybe lifting a bit, which means there might be a fallen top brace. I don't know yet. Um, and the bridge looks like it might, might have softened a bit. But th this is a pretty rough and tumble guitar, so it seems to have survived our day in the trunk. Um, if this was a solid wood instrument with hide glue holding the neck on or any of the braces on, um, or with a very uh, not heat friendly finish, like a nitrocellulose finish, then it probably would have fared much worse. But, you know, I don't really want to stick a Martin guitar in the trunk of my car all day long just to see. The, the moral of the story is if you are, say, playing somewhere and then going out, Maybe, maybe you play at church and then you're going to go out to lunch afterwards. Do not leave your instrument in the trunk of a car and let it reach 120 degrees or higher um, because it can do great detrimental damage to this. The fact that there's already a loose brace in the back um, is evidence that this guitar was heading to a bad place. The action's high. Um, I'm surprised the strings are still in tune. So if you want to leave a, trunk, a guitar in the trunk, get an FA100, but otherwise, please... Uh, for your sake, don't do that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Next time, maybe we'll see what we can do to actually kill this thing. Hey, thanks so much for watching the videos we put out on YouTube. We make these with the goal of helping you find the right instrument to suit your needs, to find the perfect fit so that you find the right guitar and bring many years of joy. We believe strongly that if you play a note, it can change your life. But if you're shopping for a guitar right now, you may be overwhelmed by the amount of choices that are available. Should you get an acoustic guitar, an electric guitar, a classical guitar? Which features matter, price points, things like that. It can be overwhelming. And for that reason, I've written a guitar buyer's guide called Don't Get a Good Deal on the Wrong Guitar. Follow the link below to download this very comprehensive guide that will talk about every aspect that you should be paying attention to when it comes to purchasing a new guitar. If you ever have questions or need help, go to our website, alamomusic.com. We're here to help. Thanks.